Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install Odoo 9 in the Digital Ocean. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is in the Digital Ocean, you need to have a uh, droplets already. Uh, if you don't have one, you need to create one, and uh, it will looks like this screen, and you can choose whatever uh, the uh, droplet uh, package you want. Uh, apparently you can see the default is $10 per month uh, pretty much they are doing the um, hosting for you back to my droplet which is I already have one because I create one I even have two but uh, we're gonna just working on one of them uh, this one is called um, I have one gig RAM and uh, I'm going to do is uh, uh, go to the uh, uh, to wipe up everything just gonna show you this IP address it already has and uh, you can also uh, logging in and uh, type uh, uh, your logging information to gain access to the uh, the server okay so it is pretty much fully functional and uh, uh, you can see the calendar you can see uh, mass mailing you can see events I uh, haven't created anything yet contacts you can see everything say apps uh, everything is there, okay, even the uh, uh, communication and uh, all the function. It's all working, everything is fine. And I was lucky as an administrator. Okay, so everything is working fine. And I'm just going to show you how to install this so easy. Okay, so I can do is destroy or I can just rebuild. Uh, I can do is rebuild from Ubuntu 14.4. Uh, 64 okay that's a uh, recommend one so I'm gonna build something new from the image and after that we're gonna install Odoo on the top of Ubuntu okay that's what I'm going to do uh, still rebuild okay rebuild mean that's why about anything you just install and to rebuild from scratch and you have the uh, Odoo Ubuntu Odoo Ubuntu is gonna be rebuilt here and you can have Odoo 9 install after this one and uh, while uh, in the background uh, is actually rebuild oh it's done okay very fast so you can actually just refresh your browser you know for this one it should be nothing available okay even uh, the I go to here but you do do dot com uh, dot com and if I refresh if you see uh, websites not available then we're using the putty p u t t y okay it's a program I'm gonna show you that later if you don't know what that program and how to use that program so I'm going to log in as loot although it's not recommend but uh, for this practice purpose I'm going to do that and they asked me to enter the uh, current password and new password alright and I just type a new password retyping again alright so I just log into the server right now okay for Alex right so I'm going to install and uh, install I have the um, script is already uh, prepared so all I have to do is uh, install and grab the uh, uh, script from the server and that's it so you can see the screen right now is install uh, it's install everything for you And the process is pretty, pretty fast. Normally, it's gonna be take less than three minutes, five minutes. Depends on really. Some people tell me take even uh, shorter. Some people say longer. Okay, that, but this is pretty much real time. We can see how long it takes. And we're gonna waiting for this entire thing to load. So you know, if you watch, you can you know watch the time. Okay. But remember this is actually install the entire Odoo okay which is actually running the entire installation things there are a couple things that we need to actually do after this and we also doing the running the script way um, it's just gonna take a little bit uh, a few couple minutes but actually the process of installation it really just take less than 10 minutes a lot of time this video I was just showing you how to 
prepared to install this. Um, some of the some of the stuff you probably don't need to know right now because I already have the Odo 9 installed and I pretty much have to like uh, wipe out and reinstall again. So I show that kind of step. Uh, so you can practice. You can like pretty much wipe out and reinstall again. Just practice the installation. That's that's fine. Okay, so that's why I show you everything here. I I don't think you're gonna see this in the uh, in any uh, other video. So that's why it's good to uh, to have you see this. So right now you can see on the screen is um, I'm unpacking um, the Python, which is also using the Python, um, on in the backend programming. Uh, so that's built on Python technology. And uh, sometimes you see uh, here lots of Python, uh, Ruby and Rail, Python and Django. So all we're gonna do is uh, another script, and um, I'm going to do is uh, uh, running some update. Okay, all right. I'm going to. Okay, you're gonna have those script uh, in the uh, in the instruction. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'm just gonna show you the installation process. Okay, and the script I'm gonna show you uh, actually is here. I've written down the first one install nine using the script. Okay, so this is the script. Pretty much is to uh, update the server and install the auto from the GitHub website, and there's an installation script over there. And after that, just uh, modify the folder uh, permission and run the script file. So basically, that was what that was. We are first step. And second step is to update the server okay that's what we trying to do and of course we have uh, more, more step but this is pretty much a step one this is a very simple one okay and rest of them actually is uh, come with pretty pretty easy okay so I'm let's go back to the it should be fast it should be done my browser catch so I just create temp and the password we just gonna create the password and uh, you can load the demonstration data if you want to uh, is the is optional okay I'll take uh, just a few minutes but if you could type a069 which is a poor number and then you'll be able to look like it's done okay okay so after that you can see that I just log into this IP address and uh, poor number and now I can see a whole bunch of stuff okay uh, you can by default uh, it's really nothing there in the menu just compared to before because everything is just newly installed and so you can install all the apps like simple purpose you know mass mailing campaign even though I've, I can install the mass mailing and it's gonna be actually do the installation for me and uh, uh, after that you know you can do a test and uh, if you want to um, is actually install the apps here all right so uh, right now is it's pretty much finished and you're gonna see a new tab it's called um, a mass mailing so that's uh, here mass mailing this is newsletter and um, uh, we can do some uh, testing, you know, uh, but uh, uh, of course you can create in some body, you can just edit and just to, uh, you know, to put something on your mass mailing and uh, you can put the title maybe, okay, uh, you can change the name, you know, you change logo and uh, you can put something, uh, something you want to, want, want, want your uh, subscriber or customer see in your, your email. And of course, uh, you can do more. You know, not just that. So many options. I was just, you know, doing you for for demonstration purpose, and just say, just for example, just show you something for demonstration purpose. You can upload the image. You can. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, save this one. After I save this one, you know, I can send in. I have 27 record. Why? Because remember, we just actually import the uh, demo data so uh, this is 27 week if you go to a mailing list uh, you can see uh, say say the the mailing list uh, is is pretty much is everything here is a uh, is a sample one a demo one so example example.com and uh, you can see the uh, other the newsletters and uh, uh, so uh, also the uh, contact uh, this is demo data, you know, with, this is also tongue, tongue context with we have. Uh, so this is not the, the URL, this is the demo data. So I'm going to do is uh, send to a real one, you know, to how do I send to a real one? You know, very easy setting and go to the uh, general setting and to uh, choose your 
uh, outgoing uh, mail servers and outgoing mail server and just uh, uh, it should be it all it could be the Zoho lots of people using Z O H O and always using Gmail you can use Gmail too which is using the SMTP uh, dot Gmail dot com and uh, they use in the XSL and uh, uh, type your user ID and then type your password that's it so you can send email uh, from your Odoo let's test connection say connection test success succeeded everything seems working properly and then after that you just go to the uh, uh, the uh, mess mounting and guess what you just go to um, here and send a test mounting test email and you send to yourself okay once you send to yourself and guess what okay so once you finish that okay you're gonna do is uh, uh, check your email okay so you can see uh, email just sent to myself from the administrator okay which is myself and to myself okay second news data you can go back to the um, website and actually see um, the campaign which is saying uh, which is a uh, uh, second news data here all right we just send a test and now we can send to all of them let's click create and uh, just you know type test test mailing list and just you know put the recipient over there just create uh, maybe just yourself gmail.com okay let's say you can create multiple one you can create any you can create additional one if you want to uh, like for example I have another email united.org so basically you just you know create you know more if you want and just just go back to the mass mailing and um, go to this one and uh, now uh, you want to selecting the uh, click edit selecting the uh, mailing list the one we just create called test mailing list here and all you have to do is just uh, send to all it says uh, it's going to schedule on 1935 okay why because uh, by default you actually wait for uh, 60 minutes to send so uh, you know to actually menu send them you have to like uh, doing something or you have to just wait uh, if you cannot wait you just go to a setting in a setting just go to okay go to here about a question about and choose activate the developer mode okay you click the activate the developer mode and you're gonna take a minute something to uh, okay you can see this all do 9.0 okay community edition all right it's done so all you have to do is go to setting and go to the uh, uh, this place called uh, automation automation schedule action yeah schedule action here you're gonna see something called process mass mounting queue you can run manually you can just click this and it's gonna be run right now or you can you know modify say okay every one minute or every five minutes okay it's up to you but for the testing purpose I just going to say every one minute okay because I'm going to test a lot and uh, it can actually run right now as well and just run manually alright so after you do that you go back to the mass mailing and you still see the uh, uh, the second uh, news data was in the queue right now is in the same column alright so it's same so let's go back here and uh, you just send right send to uh, to yourself so so you're gonna see the email sent to you know myself because I just typed that's my address I also send to another my another email account which is peter at houseunited.org uh, because I typed two email remember uh, to send to myself thank you uh, that's the end of today's tutorial thank you very much